Hey, y'all. <laughs> because I've been gone for so long. It's like, hey, y'all. Did you miss me? <laughs> it's like, uh-uh, where have you been? Back to my channel, Chico Miriam, and today, <laughs> today, baby, we have ourselves some turkey sausage and cabbage. I thought I'd go to a little old school. Um, if you got my cookbook a couple years ago, I put this recipe on there. It's one of my favorite dishes to eat. Now, no, it's like, it's like, hey y'all, <laughs> because I've been gone for so long. It's like. Hey, y'all. Did you miss me? <laughs> it's like, uh-uh, where have you been? All right, so just go ahead and chew me out. Lay me out. I get it. I deserve it. Come on. Give it to me. Go on. Give it to me. I know. I've been MIA for a while, but we'll get into that. Let's get into this. Okay. Our, um, for my ASMR people, this will be a clingy bang bang video because I'm going to use a real fork. Sometimes the noise bothers you guys. This is like how I make mine, my sausage and cabbage. I love my cabbage shredded. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that. But when it comes to my collard greens, I want nice, big, leafy collards. I have been making this. I probably, this is probably my, my, in the past two months, that's probably like my fourth time. So I already know. Here we go. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Mmm. Mmm. So good. It's so simple and easy. Make it as tender as you want. And no need for extra water. It is water. So there's no need for it. I like a little crunch, just slightly. But usually if I'm making it for other people, I soften it just a little bit, a little bit more. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Hold on, give me a minute. Ooh. It never gets old. Mm. So good. Pepper hit my throat. It's so good. <clears throat> now cabbage. Cabbage must not be lonely. 
you gonna eat your cornbread. Oh yeah. Not homemade. Cause I can't I can't make cornbread. I've tried. I've had people tell me that they've made my cornbread. <clears throat> Let me get some water, hold on. Oh, that's better, I'm back. I've had people tell me that they've made my cornbread and it's come out perfect. I made like three attempts on this channel to make cornbread. I might give it one more. Homemade fresh cornbread, but it just never comes out right. Mm. So how are you guys doing today? How are you doing? <laughs> Silly girl woman. I'm doing just fine. No lonely cabbage <clears throat> meal all by itself. And in my culture, this even with the sausage in here is still a side dish. Okay. But today it is a meal. So <clears throat> I know y'all like, but Mary, where have you been, honey? What is going on? I, I, work. I started exercising. So that's like on my days off, that's an hour. Just slightly over an hour every day. So I exercise every day on off, but I still don't eat right. Don't get me wrong, I'm down 20 pounds, but over the holidays, I gained back like four and I'm just been struggling just like to get out of there because I love to eat. <laughs> I love to eat. So I know what I have to do, you know, to get it down for it to stay down. But man, after, um, Christmas, you know, that good food, honey. I've just been having a tough time getting back to the groove. Whereas in the past, when I made attempts to lose weight, the food wasn't the problem. It was the exercise, and now it's the other way around. But I enjoy it. I go to the gym twice a week, and then the other two days, I'm walk for about an hour 10 minutes i'm at the gym two days a week for an hour and like 20 minutes roughly an hour and 20 minutes and then on my nursing job i walk anywhere from four and a half to five and a half miles a day so i'm working out But I love to eat. I know this dish is simple and easy, guys, but this has just been my go-to lately. But anyway, I'm, I'm off subject. So, <clears throat> besides that, I've been trying to start a little, like, kind of online side hustle. <laughs> so, I'm trying to educate myself about it. And putting a lot of time into trying to build it. it has nothing to do with YouTube or any type of social media. But it's just something, you know. I know that, you know, I want to diversify my sources of income, of course. So, in doing that, I've been neglecting YouTube, you know. So, my sincere apologies. Just ask you guys just to bear with me. Just bear with me, but it's okay if you chew me out. Just leave me a comment. <laughs> and of course, admit what you don't want. Some people probably wouldn't want the pork back, and that's fine. Because I don't always use it either. But it gives it a nice flavor. Very, very nice flavor. Now, when I cook, when I cook it for like like family and all that kind of stuff, I put a lot in there. But that I just only put maybe like 
a tablespoon and a half. Very delicious. Mmm, -mm, so good. Mmm. Mmm. What have you guys been up to? Talk to me. And it's crazy, like, I find myself, like, <clears throat> not watching much television. Like, you know, how many of you guys like that? Like, you watch, mm, excuse me, you have a cable bill, but you barely watch TV. That's me. I watch very little TV. I'm on my computer or my cell phone. Taking in social media. But then I also give myself breaks from social media because sometimes you gotta detox from social media. You dig? That is a must for everybody. That's just my opinion. But. Like a little de um, social media detox. <clears throat> There's certain certain sites I might only get in there like once a week. When it comes to that TikTok though, that's pretty much daily. <laughs> it's not just for entertainment. It's for you know all the social media sites are. Of, good ways for resources to um, educate ourselves on what we're trying to do, whether it's a vacation or a trip or a restaurant you want to go to, or if you had a question about, I don't know, any new business you want to start, we'll teach you how, teach you how to get your LLC. Like, it's a lot. I do appreciate the social media, but then it's the downside to it, you know, that, that side where people can be cruel and mean with their words, but wouldn't dare say it to you in person. Okay. Wouldn't dare, but I just make sure I go through some detox after about a month or two. Or check like three or four days and kind of minimize how much I watch. Little to no. To no um, social media. And that's when I find myself watching TV sometimes. Mmm. No, I finished my food. I don't do that, but and another thing, I know I'm rambling, I know, but just bear with me. <clears throat> I don't realize how much I miss recording until I start recording. When I'm <clears throat> prepping and setting up and everything like that, oh, I'm about to get emotional. <laughs> but I don't realize how much I miss it until I start. Like, oh my gosh, like I really miss, I miss doing it. That's how I know, you. that's why you know. The things that you love to do in life, you know, is for you because you'll miss it, you know. I know being on YouTube or any social media is definitely something that I want to do until I've got just 50 people watching me. <laughs> 50 people that's going to tune in my bit, you know. I just, I just, it's just something I do enjoy. You don't realize how much you miss it until you. Take some time off. But anyway, I'm rambling. So if you are new to the channel, baby, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for being part of the fam. As always, you know I greatly appreciate all of you. I love you guys. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace.